This is my Microsoft Surface Pro 3. It's old and not exactly the fastest computer out there. It has an i3 dual core, 4 gigabytes of RAM and a whopping 64 gigabytes of storage. Yet here I am in a park editing the Project One video, a 200 gigabyte 4K Premiere Pro project. So how do I do this? The answer is pretty straightforward and many of you may know it already. For everyone else, I made this guide on how to use your desktop PC from anywhere. The way I do this is over Remote Desktop Protocol or RDP. I simply access my desktop at home from any device from anywhere in the world using RDP. This means we need a pretty decent internet connection on both devices. RDP is built into Windows Pro and server versions. To continue to the next step, make sure the system you want to access has RDP support by clicking the Allow Remote Connections button in the System Properties Remote tab. You also need to select which users are allowed to do this. Your administrator account should be enabled by default. If your system does not support RDP, a little bit of googling will help you find out how to install it. Any device can connect to it, you don't need a special Windows version to access an RDP server. There are apps for Android, iOS, Windows Phone, Windows, Linux and others, all for free. First we need to check if we correctly enabled remote access. You can look up your desktop's IP by pressing Windows and the R button at the same time, typing CMD and then typing ipconfig. You need the IPv4 address which for me is 192.168.0.240. Write this down as you'll need it later. Also write down your default gateway. Now go to the device you want to use to access your desktop PC. Search for remote desktop connection. Here you type the IP in the text field next to computer. You also need to enter the username here. Connect to the desktop and now you can access that desktop from within your home network. Of course I said anywhere in the title so we have some more work to do. We're going to do this the easy way not using gateways and additional security settings. We need to go into our router so that we can port forward to the desktop. This is different depending on your router. Go to the default gateway in your browser, usually this is 192.168.0.1. For me, my ISP, Telenet, is super annoying so I need to access my router through their website. In your router, navigate to a tab that lets you do port forwarding. Here you want to forward port 3389 to the IP address of the PC you want to access. Set the protocol to TCP and save the changes. From now on you can access that desktop from anywhere but it's not reliable enough yet. To fix this we're going to noip.com and we'll create a free account. Now you will need to confirm you still use this account every month. Download and install DUC, making sure you run it as a system service and just log into it on your desktop PC. This software will keep the IP address up to date in case your ISP changes it. And that's it, you're finished. Reconnect to the system using the domain name you created. To really make sure it works, do this again but from a different network. If it works on your neighbor's Wi-Fi, it'll also work on the other side of the world. You just need high enough internet speeds. For my example, editing 4K video on a tablet in a park, I shared my phone's 4G data and it worked pretty well. So I kept this video as short and simple as possible. If you need to get a static local IP or use the RDP gateways, you can find another how-to for that. This guide should work for 99% of viewers. Anyway guys, if you like this video, please press that like button. If you didn't, there's the dislike button for when I make a video that you do like. If you want to follow the channel, there is Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And if you want to support the channel like the awesome people on your screen right now, there's Patreon for that. For now, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.